Welcome back. My name is Emery. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to talk about the, the difference between the Exo Mountain Gear backpack frame and the Kuyu backpack frame. I recently did a video comparing the two day packs, so there were some comments saying they wanted to see the frame. Uh, so let's briefly go over it. One thing to note, I don't have the latest and greatest of the EXO or the KUYU frames. I believe there's some changes, but they're essentially the same. So take it with a grain of salt, but the concept remains the same. They are virtually unchanged in terms of function. There's some, there's some nitty gritty details in that have changed, but you, you get the idea. All right, this is the EXO Mountain Gear backpack frame. It is a titanium hoop style frame that makes the pack rigid and I'll show you that so that is what makes the frame rigid this guy this guy and it kind of goes all the way around and then down and you get the idea because it is two titanium wires that go up through it they've created this load panel so you would put your meat against the frame and then sandwich your bag uh, sandwich the meat between the frame and the bag and that's how it works um, up and down, very rigid. These Both of these packs can carry a ton of weight, but what's cool about the Exo Gear bag is that it twists. The bottom of this pack is uh, stationary on my lap, but you can see there's a bunch of twists, right? And it's not like changing on my lap at all. So what that does is it allows you to walk over logs, over rocks, over rough terrain with a load and have it flex with your body. So as your shoulders move like this, the frame moves and it's a little more comfortable. It doesn't feel like you have like a, like you're tied to a board or anything. What's cool about that is that, well, it's super comfortable, right? Um, and it doesn't change the weight up and down. So you can do this and then you can still twist it. So I'm pulling down on it pretty hard and you can, you can still twist it. So that's pretty cool. Again, titanium frame uh, or titanium hoop style frame with a panel and there's some there's some horizontal stays right here. Um, the second the other thing to note that I think is a major difference is that um, they have these buckles right here. Um, oops, this guy and this guy. So you have this and you have this down here. These work independent, this guy and this guy of the bag. And what I mean by that is that um, you can lay this thing out and you can lay your meat and you can cinch it down and then you put your bag on. Um, I'll show you what's different about that on the Kuyu bag here in a second, but essentially that's how this one works. Again, these frames can um, haul a bunch of weight and you don't have to put the, the meat inside, inside of the bag. So that is the Exo Mountain Gear bag. General, general overview. Also one thing to note, the hip belt can be replaced different sizes, uh, so that's worth noting. All right, this is the Kuyu frame. Uh, it is carbon fiber. It does not have a Cordura face on it. Um, the frame is, it is the frame. That's all it is. Um, so what you would end up doing is putting your meat against the frame and then sandwiching the bag, using the bag to sandwich the meat. Um, you can research different pictures and all the information on the type of carbon fiber it is. I'm not really sure this is like, I think it's called split toe or something. That's the most recent one, but vertical. So what's different about this one, and again, this isn't like a torture test or anything, but vertically, it's very, very, it's very, very tough. Um, side to side, I'll do the same thing. It's not as, it looks like it's moving a little bit more, but what ends up happening is that it's actually moving on my lap a lot more. The difference here is that if you notice on the on the uh, Exo Mountain Gear one, it moves a lot more. When I do this, this is a lot more rigid. It's not like a, it's not stiff as a board, but it's pretty stiff. So it's not going to move your body as much. Some people like more movement. Some people don't. That's personal preference, but that's kind of how it's going to work. Let's see what else. Removable hip pad, uh, a, a waist pad. That's great. Um, what's different about the Kuyu bag is that in order to, to compress the meat onto the frame, you have to sandwich it with the bag. So uh, I don't know how to explain that any better. Basically, the compression straps are not independent of the bag. And by that, I mean, you're gonna lay this thing out, you're gonna lay the meat on top of it, and then you're gonna use these guys, attach them to your bag, 
and then you're gonna cinch it. And I don't know if that's any better or any worse. I can't tell you that, that's just something to take into account. I like the idea that the Exo Mountain Gear bag is the, the compression straps for the load. Uh, the meat, if you will, are independent of the bag. So you strap, you put the meat on, you strap that thing down, and then you put your bag on. This is, you put the meat on, you put the bag on, then you, then you cinch it down. Um, again, I couldn't tell you if it's, if it's better or worse. It's just different. So yeah, that is the difference between the two frames. So again, carbon fiber, a um, little bit more stiff. And there's no um, there's no fabric on this one, but you basically put the bag right on this thing, and it is what it is. Um, whereas the Exo Mountain Gear one, there's there's a titanium hoop frame in there. It's a little more flexible. They're both very strong frames. They sit very very nicely. Again, not highly detailed, but it is a difference between the two bags. Um, look on the internet. Look around. People are hauling all kinds of weight with these with these two bags. Um, one's not right, one's not wrong, it's all personal preference, but those are the differences. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions about the frames, hit me up or contact the companies directly because they're probably going to give you more in-depth details on the frames. But anyhow, if you have any questions, leave some comments. Let me know what your experience has been or was or what you hope to get from these bags um, or just say hi. Be sure to subscribe, let me know how I'm doing, and we will see you next time. Thanks so much.